This is the third and final section of the proof by induction chapter and here we're going to be uh, looking at proving statements involving matrices. Now these are proofs are more similar to the proofs for summation. So let's just write down similar, if I can spell similar, similar to the proofs for summations and you'll remember that the proof for summations was that um, we started with in this basis step for proving a truth in this truth for n equals one we look to see if the left hand side equals the right hand side then we uh, wrote a statement uh, with the um, left and the right hand side where we're going to assume it's true for k so we assume the statement is true for k assume not the statement but the expression or the um, uh, statement that we've given it let's use the word statement assume statement true for n equals k and then what we need to do is we need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1 and then write our conclusion at the end. So very similar to the uh, proofs that we did for the summations. So prove by induction that this statement is true for all positive values of n or all positive integers n. So step number one is going to be our basis step where we want to show that the left hand side equals the right hand side. So if I start with the left hand side, and this is with n equals 1, I will get 1, negative 1, 0, 2 to the power 1, which is just 1, negative 1, 0, 2. So with the right hand side, uh, again replacing n with 1, I get 1, and then 1 minus 2 to the 1, and then 0, 2 to the 1, I get 1 and then 1 minus 2 which is negative 1 and then 0, 2. So um, when n equals 1 the statement is true. Statement is true. Okay so we're now ready to move on to the second step which is the assumption step and what we're assuming is that um, uh, the statement is true so we're assuming this is true for n equals k so that will be we're making this assumption 1 negative 1 0 2 to the power k is equal to 1 1 minus 2 to the k 0 2 to the k now we're on to the inductive step or the induction step and what we can say is so um, for n equals k plus 1 we would have uh, 1 minus 1 0 2 to the power k plus 1 is equal to well it's equal to basically that matrix to the power k times by itself again so times by one more so we're adding one more to the power now um, this bit here just highlight it uh, this bit here yeah we can swap out for what we assumed here because we've basically got that statement written down haven't we so now this will become um, instead of that matrix to the power k we will have what we had from our assumption and then 0 to the power k so what we're going to do now is multiply it by this and if we do that we'll get uh, 1 times plus 0 which is 1 then we'll have negative 1 
and then plus 2 times 1 minus 2k or 2 to the power k then on the bottom we will have 0 in this corner because we have 0 plus 0 and then 2 times 2k like that so now what we want to do is we basically want to get it into this form here but with k plus 1 here and k plus 1 there that will prove if it's true or not by induction so if I do that I'll get well that's still 1 and 0 uh, expanding the brackets at the top I'll have negative 1 um, plus 2 minus 2 times 2k so I've just expanded the brackets there and at the bottom 2 times 2k All right, so that will be 1 0 now the 1 uh, negative 1 plus 2 is going to be 1 and then minus now 2 times 2k is 2 to the k plus 1 and 2 times 2k at the bottom is 2 to the k plus 1 so we've assumed uh, n equals k is true so n equals k um, is true um, so for n equals k plus 1 I'll basically finish off the sentence down here so this statement is true so we can then go on to say therefore by mathematical induction induction this statement here that we've been given which I'll write down is true for n is one of these positive integers okay proof in, uh, by induction that for all positive integers as n this statement is true right so I'm going to do this I'm not going to write down the words basis and all of that so we'll start with uh, n equals 1 we'll look at the left hand side when n is 1 so we'll get negative 2 uh, 9 negative 1 4 to the power 1 which basically just equals negative 2 9 negative 1 4 we'll look at the right hand side so on the right hand side we will get uh, minus 3 times 1 3n three plus 1 and then 9 times 1 and then negative 1 and then 3 times 1 plus 1 so that will give us uh, negative 3 plus 1 which is negative 2 then we'll get 9 then we'll get negative 1 and then we will get 4 in the bottom corner so um, statement is true for n equals 1 now we go on to our assumption step so we're going to assume uh, statement is true for n equals k so that means we assume this is true negative 2 9 negative 1 4 to the power k is equal to negative 3k plus 1 9k negative k 3k plus 1 now we go on to so for n equals k plus 1 we will have this negative 2 9 negative 1 4 to the power k plus 1 now what does that equal it equals this to the power k times by one more of the negative 2 9 negative 1 4 now we can do what we did before where this statement here appears in the bit where we made the assumption in the previous step so we can make a substitution there 
So the next bit will be, just write it down here. Um, so we make that substitution. So we've now got negative 3k plus 1, 9k, negative k, 3k plus 1, gets times by this. Right, so let's multiply that out and see what we get. So the um, negative 3k plus 1 times by negative 2 is going to give us 6k minus 2. And then we're going to have 9k times by negative 1, so minus 9k. So that's just the first element there. Going across, I will have negative 3k plus 1 times by 9, which gives me... Um, negative 27k um, plus 9, I'm going to run out of space here, sorry, plus 9 times 4k, so plus 36k, should have given myself more space really, and then going down to the bottom, we are going to have um, negative k times by 2, which is 2k, and then minus 3k minus 1. Then the last one is going to be negative 9k um, plus 12k plus 4. So obviously now let's give ourselves some space over here. We want to simplify what we've got. So that will be... Um, negative 3k minus 2, work that out right, and the next element I'm going to have 36 minus 27, which I think will be 9, so I'll have 9k plus 9 here, 9k plus 9, down at the bottom, I will have negative k minus 1, so negative k minus 1, and then the very last one, I'll have 3k plus 4, 3k plus 4. Now, what are we trying to get? Remember, we are trying to get um, this statement um, here, but with k plus 1 where I had k. So for example, this would be negative and then maybe in brackets 3 um, k plus 1 then plus 1. This would be 9 and then in brackets k plus 1 and so on and we can do that. So each one of those elements can be written as the bit in our assumption step but with k plus 1. Yeah, so you can see that uh, that works doesn't it because that give you negative uh, 3k minus 3 plus 1 that balances then for the next one this is the same as 9 and k plus 1 yeah down at the bottom this is the same as negative k plus 1 and then the last element that's the same as 3 k plus 1 plus 1 yeah so just to highlight again what has happened here so we assumed this was true and that's k and what happened when we used k plus one what happened well all those k's turned into k plus one so with our assumption this statement is true um assume is true for n equals oh so for n equals k plus one this statement is true yeah so by mathematical induction by mathematical induction um am i going to have to write space to write it out Let's try negative 2, 9, negative 1, 4, then equals this. Hmm. 
Okay. So my mathematical induction, that statement is true for n is any positive integer. So you should now be able to do exercise 8c on page 164. So as I said before, similar method as the summation method. Yeah, so starting with our basis step, n equals 1. Then moving on to our assumption step where we assume like some sort of matrix statement um, is true for n equals k. So tr assume true for n equals k. Then in step number three, our inductive step. So let's say I've got a power um, k here and like, you'd have some stuff with k's in here like this. Then we now say, right, what's this with k plus one? So that's basically this. Yeah. And then what happens is this matrix gets replaced with this matrix here. And then what we should end up with once we've done that is um, a matrix where it's like this matrix here, but what you've got in it is k plus ones. Okay, and now that will be our proof by induction.